very comprehensive win for your side. What's your immediate reaction to the 90 minutes? Yeah, I think it was a good, uh, a good response from last week. Um, you know, we played a complete 45, in my opinion, and oh, sorry, 90, I should say. Um, we improved on our first half performance today. Um, our work rate was really good, so, you know, um, I thought the attitude the boys showed and the response from last week was really good, and I'm happy with that. I think Nuno came off with a very scary-looking head injury, yeah. but how is he? Look, he's OK. He's had a shower and all that sort of stuff, so, um, look, he'll go and do the, you know, a check off said hospital to do the right thing, but at the moment, you know, he's in good spirits and he's OK. So he was, like, communicating with everybody? With yeah, he was, like, honestly, he was perfectly fine, you know. Uh, <laughs> That's it, huh? I'm actually not saying anything about uh, tactics, uh, but I think, uh, yeah, like Michael said, you know, I have the uh, opportunity now um, uh, to go somewhere else, which uh, I've said that I, I will take, and again, it's within the group, so um, which, is a, which is a great thing. I think for me, uh, when I think about when I start or when we started, you know, it was it was a crazy time, and uh, I'd say I enjoyed it a bit. I think. It never was even cry, but I'm gonna cry. My my main aim this year was to be vulnerable, be like vulnerable, and this is not me being me. This is me being real. Okay, and you know, along the journey, I lost my dad at a young age, at a young age, and football was my guidance because I love the game. Football was my guidance, and I hope over the the years that we've been together that I'll give that to you, the guidance and that love because um, you're fantastic people, you're the best group I've ever coached. Um, I spend more time with you and love you more, I love you more than my kids, but I love you the same. Okay, because I've spent so much time with you guys. Um, and I just want to say it's been a pleasure um, to have coached you guys um, and been along the journey uh, for the last two and a half years. Okay, so, um, I want to thank you for everything you've done. You've made my job easy. Not hard, you've made it easy because you're fantastic players and fantastic human beings. And, and never forget that. When I, I left Europe, I started my coaching badges, so I always knew the next sort of pathway after football. And I started with the academy and uh, went with the girls for sort of one and a half years and then uh, did my time as an assistant uh, with uh, Warren and, and Eric and then obviously became a head coach. I think the fondest memory is the double. You know, I think we've been chasing that as a club, um, as a fan base for a long time. Eric played a, and, and Warren also, you know, they played a, both big, big influences in my life. You know, Eric, you know, we have a great friendship to this state where we speak, you know, a couple of times a week. It, it, it's, a, it's a crazy sort of weird, quirky, but it works friendship where, you know, you have this man that <laughs> doesn't really speak a lot of English and you have a guy that's from the, born in the West. You know, I'm, I'm forever grateful for what he's taught me and, you know, I can't thank him enough. Mark Petrillo and, and Brian Marwood um, were the ones that really pushed me to, into coaching in terms of giving me the opportunity, which I'm forever grateful for. The support that I've had, you know, through the, the journey has been fantastic and nothing but positive. And, you know, I, I can't thank uh, the CFG um, enough for giving me this opportunity. I'm excited, um, a little bit nervous. Um, but eager to show that, you know, people down here and people in Australia 
if given a chance, can fulfill their dream. And, you know, um, I'm lucky that I've had the support that I've had here. But what makes it easier for me, it's within the CFG group. Um, and we're very clear on what we want to do um, and the style of football that we want to we want to have and the people that we want to have and uh, in the environment and the culture that we share. So um, it's all aligned, so I'm very excited. For the fans, I thank you for your support. You know, I'm sure it's been sort of mixed emotions at times and it's been an up and down uh, time, but you know, the last, you know, two and a half years that I've been in charge, you've been nothing but supportive, fantastic. I'll miss you a lot. Hope you keep supporting the team because they need you and you are loved. Uh, they love you guys cheering for them and um, you're a special bunch of uh, supporters so thank you for everything.